the praise of God, Kura 1, A, as its first of letters, every speech maintains, the primal deities first through all the world's domains, meaning, as the letter A is the first of all letters, so the eternal God is first in the world, Kura 2, no fruit hath men of all the studied lore, save they the purely wise ones feet adore, meaning, what profit have those derived from learning, who worship not the good feet of him who is possessed of pure knowledge, Kural 3, his feet, who o'er the full-blown flower hath passed, who gain in bliss long time shall well above this earthly plane, meaning, they who are united to the glorious feet of him who passes swiftly over the flower of the mind, shall flourish long above all worlds, Kural 4, his foot, whom want affects not, irks not grief, who gain shall not, through every time, of any woes complain, meaning, to those who meditate the feet of him who is void of desire or aversion, evil shall never come. Kuro 5. The men, who on the king's true praise delight to dwell, affects not them the fruit of deeds done ill or well, meaning, the twofold deeds that spring from darkness shall not adhere to those who delight in the true praise of God. Kuro 6. Long live they blessed, who have stood in path from falsehood freed, his, who quench lusts that from the sense gates five proceed, meaning, those shall long propose are who abide in the faultless way of him who has destroyed the five desires of the senses. Cural 7. Unless his foot, to whom none can compare, mem gain, tis hard for mind to find relief from anxious pain, meaning, anxiety of mind cannot be removed, except from those who are united to the feet of him who is incomparable. Cural 8. Unless his feet the sea of good, the fair and bountiful, mem gain, tis hard the further bank of beings changeful sea to attain, meaning, none can swim the sea of vice, but those who are united to the feet of that gracious being who is a sea of virtue. Cural 9. Before his foot, the eightfold excellence with unbent head, who stands, like palsied sense, is to all living functions dead, meaning, the head that worships not the feet of him who is possessed of eight attributes, is as useless as a sense without the power of sensation, Kural 10, they swim the sea of births, the monarch's foot who gain, none others reach the shore of being's mighty main, meaning, none can swim the great sea of births but those who are united to the feet of God. Please subscribe Wiki Audio YouTube page below, and click notification icon to get future videos. Check out channel page to get more videos.